Welcome to this Enzyme Kinetics Excel calculation tutorial. In this video, I will guide you through the steps to calculate enzyme kinetics parameters by plotting the Michaelis Menten and Line Weaver Burke plots. Please read the protocol before watching this video so that you can follow along. Now, let's get started. Here we have some sample data and it should be similar to the results you get from your experiment. The first step is to isolate the relevant data. You can do this by selecting your data and highlighting it. Write down the concentrations of substrate used in your experiment. You can manually input the numbers, but using Excel features is a better idea. The different substrate concentrations were chosen to give an even distribution of data points. They start from 80% of the TMB stock solution and decrease by 10% all the way to zero which is pure citric acid buffer, which will act as our blank. So to do this, type 0.8 and 0.7. Click this box on the lower right, hold and drag all the way to 0.1, then type 0. Input the label substrate concentration micromolar. The TMB stock solution is 416 micromolar, so you can use the function equals 416 star and then click the cell. Click the box, hold, and drag. We want our units to be in molar, not micromolar, so multiply the values by 10 to the negative 6. Since the substrate and enzyme was mixed in equal parts, the concentration of the substrate is cut in half in the reaction mix. Now, take the average of the absorbance values. Take the standard deviation. For the sake of simplicity, we will not be adding any error bars to the graphs. Just take a look at the numbers and be wary if the standard deviation is too high. Subtract the blank from the other data points. You can fix a data point by pressing F4 or using the dollar sign. Fix the value of the blank so that you can subtract the same value from all the other values. Use the Beer-Lambert equation to calculate the actual concentration of product formed in the final volume. The path length is 0.18 centimeters, and the extinction coefficient is 5.9 times 10 to the 4. The reaction was stopped by adding sulfuric acid, and so, effectively, the reaction mix was diluted. The product concentration that was calculated needs to be corrected for the reaction mix by multiplying by 3 over 2. Divide the corrected product concentration by time to get V0.
We incubate it for 10 minutes and so divide by 600 seconds. Now we can plot V0 versus substrate concentration to get the Michaelis Menten graph. I will format the access label numbers to be easier to read. You can also make the font larger. I will not input the access titles for now, but you should when you do the Excel processing. You don't need a trend line for this graph. For the line weaver berg plot, we need to invert the substrate concentration and V0. Then, plot the lineweaver Burke graph with the two inverted values. Get the trend line, the trend line equation, and the r squared value. I will format the numbers so that they're easier to see. Sometimes there are not enough significant digits in the trendline equation for calculations, so you can change the format for those numbers as well. Just something to keep in mind. Use the constants from the trendline equation to calculate the Vmax, Kcat, Km, and Kcat over Km. The y-intercept is 1 over Vmax, and so calculate Vmax accordingly. Divide Vmax by the concentration of the enzyme to get the Kcat. The slope is Km over Vmax, and so use the previously calculated Vmax to get the Km. The final value to get is the specificity constant, which is the Kcat over Km. 
the specificity constant is a one number summary of the efficiency of an enzyme. As you can see, it is extremely high, showing just how good this HRP enzyme is. For MBT students, if you take the immunology course next year, then you will see why this is important for a technique called ELISA. You've successfully completed the enzyme kinetics calculation process by making the Michaelis Menten and Lineweaver Burke plots to determine the critical parameters Vmax, Kcat, Km, and Kcat over Km. I hope you learned something and good luck in the practical session.